Okay there, Libra. This is your August 2023 love reading. So let's see what's happening in love for you. We have here the Knight of Swords. Someone coming in all fiery and, and fast. Feels like they have to make a move right away. Okay, let's see. And this is, oh, a soccer ball. You can have someone that plays ball. Soccer ball, football. In different countries call football. So whatever it is to you. So someone might be wanting to play ball with you. <laughs> see, Knight of Swords. Or someone could be a ball player. Okay, what about um, what's crossing you? Ooh, the Two of Cups. So far, the Two of Cups came up in all your air readings. So, someone wants to partner up with you. Might be like they're a soulmate. Okay, now, let's see here. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this could be your energy. This is general energy. Um, I think it's your energy, how people feel about you. Um, you're attracting a lot of attention here. Let's see. We have here, ooh, we have the little Witch of the Cauldron. You're brewing up something? Yeah, are you up to something? You must, must be up to something. It almost feels like you're busy doing something. Make attention for that. Okay, let's see. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but definitely could be your energy. Let's see. All right. These, these um, feathers flake, and I, I see the little spots on <laughs> I try to get them off. Okay, anyway, I know. I shouldn't mess with it. Okay, what about the past? What happened in the past? We have here the star. Your hopes and your wishes came true. Something happened in the past that made you very happy. Or you might have got some tension for something. Okay, what possibly come in the very near future? Okay, we have the four of wands. Someone's looking for maybe a commitment with you. Yeah, someone might be looking for a commitment for our wants. Okay, what else is coming in? We have the three of swords. Ooh, a little heartache, a little pain here. Hmm. Ugh. I don't like seeing that. Well, we'll clarify that. What about the outside influences? What's going on with the outside influences? Ooh, we have the ace of wands. Okay, some kind... Something you might be inspiring some kind of new um new offer here. And how people see you. We have the wheel of fortune. Oh, that you're doing well. Maybe things change for the better for you and people are noticing. Hopes or fears. We have here the Queen of Swords. So this is coming into your energy. Maybe you, you know you might have to cut out something or you're speaking your truth. Okay, what is the possible outcome? We have the Nine of Pentacles. You might be, um, this is the minor arcana of the Empress. So you might be doing quite well financially, doing something on your own, starting your own business. We have your Five of Swords. Look at this. You're probably trying to um, stop someone from doing something here. You know, it's like someone's trying to sabotage you or do something. And then we have here... The Ace of Cups, but there's love coming in. Ooh, there might be some gossip, some talk that you have to take care of here. We do have the Two of Swords. So someone that needs to make a decision. They're stuck. They don't know what to do here. Okay, let's start clarifying. Okay, why do we have the Knight of Swords here? What's up with this Knight of Swords? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Someone might come in quick with a um, offer, a job. Is it? It's, yeah, a job offer. Gotta make sure it was an eight, not a six. Yeah. Or this might be you, because it's a nine of swords. You might be going after an offer here, or offering someone's uh, position. Okay. What about the two of cups? Why is the two of cups here? We have here the death card. Ooh. Okay, so there could be an ending to a partnership. Or, um, Scorpio. Could be dealing with Scorpio. There's also could be a, tra a major transformation going on within a partnership. 
It could be a rebirth too. An ending for a new beginning. Take it how it resonates with you. Okay. Queen of Wands. Why do we have the Queen of Wands here? Oh, we have the Ace of Swords. We have three aces on the table. So it looks like someone's speaking their truth here. Cutting out what does not belong. Speaking the truth. A new opportunity here. We have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, all we need is the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see here. What about the star? Why is the star in the past? Someone was left hanging or waiting or something here. Gained a new perspective. Almost feels like someone didn't realize how special you were. And now they realize that you were their hopes, their dreams. And maybe they took too long in the past. Waged too long. Pisces energy. Okay. What about this four of wands? Because now someone wants a commitment. Let's see. And you could be dealing with the king of swords here. Or this could be your energy too. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You either want to commit with someone or someone wants a commitment with you. But the King of Swords is very strategic. Look at that, they're playing chess. The King of Swords looks at something that is for the long haul. This is looking into the future. The King of Swords doesn't make a move unless they know what they want. So someone, either you or someone else, wants this commitment. Okay, let's see. Anchor, look at this. Yeah, someone wants a commitment. So whichever way that goes for you guys. Now, why do we have the three of swords possibly coming in here? What is this all? It could be a third party situation. Let's see. Mm. Someone's defending themselves. It almost feels like, yeah, someone might have to defend themselves about someone intruding on a connection. Trying to, um, I want to say weasel in or try to make trouble. Someone is protecting this. With the Nine of Wands. Hmm. You might have to protect this. Protect yourself. Now the Three of Swords. If someone's coming into trying to break up a connection. It could be anything. It could be addiction. It could be distance. It could be other people. It could be someone cheating. But it also could be just you know family or friends. Or someone else intruding here. We've got a lot of new opportunities here, though. Why do we have the Ace of Wands, outside influence? It's a lot of passion, desire. Let's see. We have the Five of Wands. Ooh. I think there's competition for you. And there's a lot of passion outside. A lot of people are interested. I don't think you're even aware of this. Some might be willing to fight for this connection. Now, Wheel of Fortune. So people see you as... Um, someone that's very lucky or very fortunate or having a good luck streak right now. Let's see. The Queen of Cups. Some, they also see as very loving, nurturing, caring, intuitive. Okay. Queen of Cups could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but we're seeing how people see you. And we have, oh, Rhino too. It charges ahead. People see you as very forceful when you need to be. Queen of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> now, why do we have the Queen of Swords? Oh, I didn't put anything on the Queen of Swords. Let's see. We have here. Ooh, Love, Amore. So, you might have a Queen of Swords coming towards you. Okay. Someone might be wanting to speak their truth. Okay, let's clarify this Queen of Swords. We have the King and Queen of Swords match here. We have here the Knight of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone might be coming towards you with a love offer. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone wants to offer you their cup. And we have, oh, a tree. Okay, this might be a past life connection or someone that sees that there's possible growth here. That this is um, something that could last a long time. Something that has... Um, has strong also oh, something has strong roots or you can really branch out okay now why do we have the nine of pentacles here we have the three of wands you've been waiting for this opportunity so it might be something new coming in opportunity that brings you your independence okay but why do we have the five of swords 
Huh. Five of Swords has a devil energy. Yeah. So there's some kind of... You're doing well. And there might be someone trying... It could be Capricorn. But there's some kind of... Something's trying to destroy something on, on you here. We have the Five of Swords start causing some kind of troubles. Havoc. It's gossiping. Um... Yeah, something that is not good here. But you do have the Ace of Cups coming out in the outcome too. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Because uh, you have options. Yeah, you know what? I think you're doing quite well, but you got some... I, what I'm taking for this Five of Swords with the Devil is someone's very jealous of what you are. What is coming your way. The options you have, the choices you have. But you worked hard for this. And again, we have, okay, we have Seven of Pentacles here. You're reevaluating something. Maybe you're the ones trying to make a decision on what to do here. There's offers coming in for you. I mean, you have Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of um, Cups. So you do have offers. So you have many choices and you're really thinking it over of what to do here. You have choices in love. I think you have choices in business. And your luck is, you know, it's a good, a good time for your luck. You're, you're doing well here. Wow, Libra. So they got to decide what you want to do. Okay, now let's see. What about this King of Swords? Let's get the word on the King of Swords. Lying, talk, sincere. Okay, someone was lying and made this person wants to talk. So this person wants, whoever this King of Swords, whether it's you or someone else, someone wants a commitment here. Someone else might have been lying. I, yeah, I think there's people. You have the five of wands for outside influence. You have the five of swords. I think there's people trying to cause havoc, start trouble. Okay, what about this knight of swords? Never. Eventually, truth. Okay. Maybe you never thought the truth would come out. Someone wants to talk and be sincere. Someone's saying something about eventually the truth is going to come out. Maybe you never expected it, expected it, or maybe never this truth will come out. I don't know. I feel like someone's speaking their truth. Queen of Wands. Let's see. Present. Lover. Love. Okay. So whoever's coming in here speaking their truth in the present, this person might be presenting you with something. They might it might be in the present, or um. They're bringing you a present. But this is for the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands could be the person that's coming towards you. Or this could be your energy. But there is a love here. Someone wants to speak their truth about their love for you. Okay, now. Let's do the Queen of Swords. Past. Denying. Desire. Ooh, so Queen of Swords. Someone in the past was denying their desire. But now we have the Knight of Cups. So maybe someone is now wanting to come forward and speak their truth. So now we have committed money, immature healing. Okay, maybe someone was committed to money and they're immature. And now they want to heal this situation. Let me get a clarifier on the money. Yeah, someone's handing someone money. Okay, what about the Queen of Cups? What's the scoop on this Queen of Cups? How people see you. Let's see. We have here past life thoughts before. Okay, and here's a Wheel of Fortune. Someone feels like you guys, they're thinking that you had a past life before, that you met before in a past life. So someone might be coming and telling you that. Okay, let's see what signs we have for you. What are the signs here? Just move these over. For Libra, what are the signs you could be dealing with? Let's see. Virgo. Leo. Sagittarius. Leo again. Okay. Pisces. And Libra. There you are. Okay. 
So this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, and Libra. Now let's get the letters. Let's do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for their first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. We have W, F, O, N E J M F D M Z Okay, so letters we have for you today are W F O N E J M F D M Z Okay, now for the names 11 more names to leave. Oops Okay, someone just fell on the floor. Okay. Whoop, another one. What's going on here? They're dropping out. Okay, let me move closer so I don't... Okay. Now, what are the names we have? Okay, let's see how many we have now. We have here Lamont. Norman, Kenneth, Shauna, S-H-A-W-N-A, -A. we have Angelica Odette, O-D-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E. like two here, okay, um, Nicholas, David. So I have four, eight, eight okay. More. Okay. We have Igmigio, I G M E D I O, and Dakisha, D A K E S H A, and Kyle. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's 11. Okay. So those are the names. I remember, oop, do I have some? Oh, I have someone over here. Didn't see that one. God, I found them. Andrea. A-N-D-R-E-A. -E okay. So, 12 names. All right, guys. Now, remember... Oh, someone wants to talk. Here goes my voice. <clears throat> okay. So, remember, these are general readings, not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Go ahead and check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more in one of your other placements. Also, it might give you that missing piece, that missing link, the part that just puts the puzzle together. You know, make everything fall into place for you. And um, also, at the end of every reading, there should be a little thumbnail that's going to pop up. Just click on that and I'll bring you to the previous reading. These are the August love readings. The one I did right before these readings was the regular August general readings. So if you haven't checked out, you want to check them out, just click on that link and I'll bring you right to that reading. All right, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.